What up, I do? Welcome to the Premier Launch video. Today I'm going to be breaking my three rules. Never let customers help you. Fixing other people's mistakes. And lastly, working in the rain, top dressing and leveling lawns. Today's going to be a nightmare. Just starting into the job, getting the material out, get a brief sort of level on it, reasonably level, put the lawn on it, get it a bit more level. I'm trying to get it as much as we can because there's going to be rain coming, so we just need to get try and get through it the best we can and see how it go. So I'm just going to say there's there's not many customers. If a customer says to me, Robbie, we'll give you a hand, usually I'll say no. There's not there's not many customers I'll say. I come on, give the hand, but God's a good lad. Robbie, you're one of the best, one of the best gardeners I know. I, I only know one gardener, but you're the best. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm getting, a, I'm getting a bonus from saying that. So I'm just going to say, this material it looked pretty good when it was in the bag, but it seemed to have a lot of big lumps of clay through it. Anywhere in, in through here, guys, just, just disappear in there, mate. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below. Just to have a quick look around the front of the garden here, we'll have some dips, just there's two dips there. We could probably lose a couple of bags here, no bother. Whenever you start in the job, I guess you think you have lots and lots of material. But after you start filling in a few dips, it's amazing how quick you go through it. Anywhere in about here, please. I'll do you there, 100%. Now we've got the worst bits in. Danny's going to start top dressing the lawn, and then these piles here, we're going to dot them out and just top dress the lawn the whole way down, and then start filling in areas again. That's the plan. Now, I'm going to say if you want to do top dressing, especially by hand, a square mouth shovel, something like this here, is ideal for getting it off the, getting it nice and level on the lawn. We're doing the usual shuffle, or Danny's doing the usual. Just need to get the feet down into it, get it compressed down. Doesn't need to be really heavy. We're going to run over this a few times with our feet, and then we'll get the lawn load out and get it leveled out. So the rain came on, went and had a cup of tea. You can see blue skies again, so happy days. So time to crack on. Had a pass over that you can see what the anybody that's new to the channel what the drag mat does it literally drags the soil down into the holes and helps level the lawn now i did if you want to buy one of these here they're pretty expensive my regulars know we made a di we made a diy drag mat for under 40 pounds it works nearly as well as this thing here links in the video description if you buy off my links you help support the channel so with just a matter of going over and back over and back the best we can i have i've got over this just the once the problem with this stuff is all these little balls all these little balls are just wee lumps of clay and after we get it all leveled out we're going to have to run over it with a rake pull all those off only two and a half bags left well there's not even a full amount in that bag so you can see so we're top dressing this bit here now and then there's a couple of dips through there that we're going to have to focus just the rest on. It's amazing just how much you use. So if I swing a camera up around here, you can see how much is will cover that. And then as I say, there's just in line with the wheelbarrow there, there's a bit of a dip through there. I don't think the, I don't think the camera picks up very well. So it's quite hard with the lawn lit. The reason we're using the lawn lit, first of all, around the back there, the drag map wasn't really pulling it in, but you can see the difference that the that that does, it's really working it into the surface. But I'm just going to say it is hard work. That's why Danny's done it, not me. So along here, there's a bit of a dip through here, so we're just going to fill this in. The 
customers away to get another couple of tons, so we're gonna just focus on really the depth, but you can see we have most of this filled in now. So we'll have all that out, and Gareth here, I went and got more material, so we'll have another two tons here. With many bags, Gareth? Seven? Seven bags? Seven bags and then... Aye, right, so we'll have, the, we'll have the seven bags over there, which isn't seven tons, it's, there's 800 kilos in each one. So then we'll have the two tons there, so that's probably about another two and a half bags worth there. So after lunch, I decided to mat it in a bit. We've matted it in now, the guys are because we've got the extra two tons, the guys are putting that over it again. And then we're going to set it. It's going to be a pretty big job, bigger job than I thought it was going to be, but hey ho. So we've got it all pretty much leveled out. Now Danny's putting down the seed just through the hopper. Danny's going to go over this here with the grass seed, you can see there. And then we're going to go over it with the drag mat and drag it all in so we'll get good seed to soil contact. We're in, we've had to jump into the shed, under the shed, Danny. Don't let the seed get wet, good lad. So now we're going on with the pre seeder. I had some compost left from a compost test. I'll leave a link to that video down below. My plan was to go over it. I do have the roller with me, but I'm going to leave the roller and the spare compost I have with the customer, and he's going to do those areas himself. So the likes of, the likes of this area here is going to need to be done, and there's some areas at the back, and then there's some areas down the bottom corner that we, we put down an awful lot of uh, soil, and that's just going to need to be brought up. Welcome back. Last time I was here, end of October, we're now into the beginning of April and I'm here to do a lawn feed. I want to wake the grass up and get it growing and get it thickening up. Now, the last time I was here, it was the end of October and I was a bit concerned at the time that we were maybe too late to seed. So before I show you the lawn, I just wanted to take a minute to say thanks very much to Daniel, who was working for me, who featured in the video. Daniel is no longer and works for Premier Lawns, but I just want to wish him all the best and whatever he decides to do next, I'm sure he'll be great. So let's have a look at the lawn and see how it's got on. So this area here, it's come on really well. It's a little bit thin in some patches, but we've just put down a fertilizer here, so that will be thickening up in no time at all. To have a look at this area here, we've filled a lot of stuff in up here, but what have we got just going right away? We've got some weed grass. If you want to find out about the best DIY lawn leveling tools, watch this video next.